watching 8 News Now. Good day. 622 welcoming uh, you got we have a big crowd here this is the Clark High School Science Bowl team and they're getting ready to compete on the national stage in Washington DC congratulations you guys on winning the Nevada Science Bowl on Saturday the coaches here Chuck Bean uh, we have uh, Shadman I forget your last name Kabir and Alex Bean Ashish and Jeff how's it going we're glad to have you guys here this morning. So, Coach, what does it take to prepare high school students for a competition like the Science Bowl? Mostly they just need to work really hard in their classes, and then we, after school we do a lot of quiz practice and divvy up what subjects they study. Well, one of the things that I noticed in uh, asking the questions, the honor of being the moderator at the Regional Science Bowl, is uh, some of the material seems to be stuff that's really beyond the classroom. Very much so, yes. We have to go way beyond high school level to do well in Science Bowl. Yeah, so there's questions about um, applied rocketry, there's physics, there's all kinds of math. Um, so who wants to speak up about what it's like to prepare and what it's like to compete at the Science Bowl? Ashish? Yeah, I can talk about that. No, don't, awesome. I hold the mic. <laughs> yeah, my bad. It's all good. <laughs> so uh, a lot of it is with, in school. We do this practice rounds. It's helpful to do it with the team. We can kind of see a sense of who's good at what, what we should study. But there is a good amount we do at home. Sometimes we have to read textbooks. Sometimes we try some rounds on our own. There's a lot of different things we have to do to practice. So, Shabin, I know you guys went to the National Science Bowl a year ago. So does having been on that stage already and seeing how <laughs> tough that competition is, does that help at all for this year? Um, actually, last year I was on the B team for uh, Clark Science Bowl team, so I didn't go to the Nationals. Okay, never mind. I'm really sorry that I'm having this conversation with you. Alex, you went to Washington, D.C., didn't you? Yeah. So what was that like? Oh, uh, it was really intense. There are a lot of really good teams that come from, like, across the country, and so we ha had to uh, study really hard, and we didn't make it out of the round robins, but I think we could, I think we could this year if we... Uh, practice enough. Okay. Jeff, what do you think? Is it uh, you guys think you're up for it? Yeah, I think if we practice more and perhaps read more textbooks, then we can probably get out of Ron Valve and also luck because if we get stuck with a really good team in our bracket, then we're sort of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we don't have a whole lot of time left, but I want to try a sample question. All right, you guys, the category is chemistry. This is a toss up question and it's multiple choice. Which of the following is an element that's very important to human life? It's in vitamin B12, belongs to a group of transition metals, and has magnetic properties like iron. W, selenium, X, cobalt, Y, zinc, or Z, manganese? Pretty sure it's X, cobalt. That is correct. So you have a bonus question now. The category is chemistry. It's a short answer question. What is the pH of a one molar NaOH solution at 25 degrees uh, centigrade? 14. Yeah, Well, see, that was, they're geniuses, they are. <laughs> so, gentlemen, we want to wish you the best of luck representing not only Clark High School, not only Las Vegas, but the state of Nevada as you travel. Is it in March or April? April. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep an eye on it, keep us posted, and good luck at the National Science Bowl. Again, give it up for the kids from Clark High School, the winners of the Nevada Regional Science Bowl, and their coach, Chuck Bean. We'll be back with more coverage of another competition, this little thing called the Super Bowl. Halftime highlights coming up.